So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically copy files from one Google Drive folder to another. Now suppose guys, you are working with your team and all of your team members have a shared common Google Drive folder on which they upload all the files on which they are working on. And this another folder, which is a secured one having a restricted access. And you want that all the files your team members are uploading on the shared folder, you want to actually copy or backup the same files into the restricted folder as a backup over there. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this complete process of adding the same files from one folder to another one. So in this automation guys, whenever a new file will be uploaded on our shared folder or on the common folder which you and your team members are using, automatically the same file will be copied and added to another secured folder of your choice. So how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is one of my Google Drive folders named as team files. And all of my team members actually have access to this folder. They can take the files or they can add the files in this particular folder. And here I have another folder named as all files and only restricted members, only few people have access to this folder. Now I want that whenever a team member will actually upload a file in this particular folder of team files, I want to actually automatically add that same file in this all files folder. So that just in case after the some time, if the user or the team members actually removes the file from this folder as well, I will actually have the backup of exact same file. And I want to completely automate this process, this sync of two different folders. So here guys, to do this, we are going to use an automation and integration platform that is called as Pavli Connect. So here you will see we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard over here. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Now after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your automation workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Drive Automation. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And here in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea over here is first, we are going to connect our first folder, the team folder which is shared with everyone with Pavli Connect in this trigger window. So we are going to connect our Google Drive account and we are going to get all the files which are uploaded in this particular folder into our trigger window in response. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those same files into another folder of our Google Drive account. That too automatically. Now here in this video, I just took an example of two folders into the same Google Drive account. But instead of this, you can actually set up this automation between two different Google Drive accounts as well. Like here in Trigger, you can actually collect the files in one of your Google Drive account. And then in action, you can actually send those same files to any other folder or any other Google Drive account of your choice. So let's see how it is done. Now here in Trigger window, in Choose App, search for Google Drive. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new file in specific folder. So here guys, we because we want to get the new files from this particular folder, which is shared with everyone. That's why we are selecting this trigger event, new file in specific folder. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. So here we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button, select your Google Drive account in which you have created this folder. Scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pavli Connect. Now after connecting our Google Drive account, the only thing it asks us is the folder or the subfolder in from which we want to get the new files. So we have selected trigger event as new file in specific folder. But in our Google Drive account, from which folder we want to get these files. And here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the folders which I have created in my Google Drive account you will see the complete list. So we want to get the new files from the Steam files named as folder. So from this drop down, I'm going to select this particular folder from which I want to get the files. 
and then just click on save and send test request. But here guys, before clicking on save and send test request, when we'll click on it, it will get the details of the most recent, the most latest file which we have uploaded in Google Drive. So before clicking on save and send test request, let's upload a file in this particular folder. Click on this new button and here select file upload. Select desktop. So here it is. And let's select this file. I have this PDF file in my system. Let's upload this file in our Google Drive. And it is uploading. So here you can see that just now we have uploaded a PDF file in this particular folder in Google Drive named as Team Files. And here this is the kind of PDF we have uploaded on automation and integration. Now we will see when we will get back to Public Connect and we will click on this save and send test request. After clicking on it, we will get some response. And in response, as I told you, we will get the details of the most recent, the most latest file which we have uploaded in Google Drive. So this was the file and here in response you can see that we have received the details of the same file. We have the web content link of the same file. Then we will scroll down. Here you can see the self link of the same file. We will scroll down further and here you can see the name of the file which we have uploaded. So we have this name automation and integration. And because we have uploaded a PDF file, here you can see that .pdf as the extension too. Then you can see the thumbnail link and other details of the file as well. Like in which account it is uploaded, what is the timestamp and all of those things. So here guys, you can see that we have successfully actually received the details of the file which was uploaded on our Google Drive. Now what we want to do, we want to actually upload this same file into another folder of our Google Drive or to some other Google Drive account. For example, I have created this folder over here in my Google Drive that is all files. Now to do this, just come to your public and workflow scroll down and come to the action window and here in choose app search for google drive just select it and then in action event from the drop down we have to select the action event as copy a file then just click on connect and here guys because we are using the same google drive account we are not sharing or uploading file to another google drive account so we have already made the connection in the previous step so we don't have to make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. And here we can see that in action step as well, we have connected our Google Drive account. After connecting the account, the next thing it asks us is the file. And here in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the files which we have created in our Google Drive account. So here guys, what we have to do every time a new file will be uploaded in our folder. Every time we are going to upload a new file in this particular folder named as team files. So here guys, every time we are going to receive the response for a new file in trigger window, and then we have to upload a new file or copy a new file into the Google drive, the other folder in our Google drive. So here guys, this means the file is going to be the dynamic one. So here guys, in this response, we will see we have also received a response of file ID, the unique file ID of the file, which we have uploaded in Google drive. So in trigger response, we will just scroll and search for that response. And here it is this response of file ID of the same file, which we have uploaded in this post folder. So we have to basically map this same file ID over here in this file section. And to map it, just turn on this mapping button on in front of it and clear this response. And then from the drop down from Google Drive responses, select the response of ID. Let's search for it. And here it is. This is the file ID. Just select this response and map it over here. After mapping the ID, the next thing it asks us is the new folder location that to which folder in our Google Drive we want to copy this file. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the folders in our Google Drive account. So we want to copy this file to this folder named as all files. So we are going to select this folder over here. And then it is asking us copied file name that the file which we are going to copy. What is the name of that file? So here from responses, we have also received the name of the file in response. Here it is automation and integration dot PDF. We have the name and the file extension of the same file. So we are going to map this same file name over here in this field of copied file name. Just click here and from the drop down from Google Drive responses, select the response of title of the file and map it over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response seems to be a positive response to us. 
this response shows that the file ID which we have mapped over here, basically the same file which we have uploaded in the first folder is now copied and also added to this particular folder in our Google Drive. So let's check it. We will go to the second folder. And yes, guys, here you can see that the exact same file, same name, same file is been uploaded to second folder as well. We had this automation and integration PDF in the first folder and the same file can be seen in second folder too. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Every time a new file will be uploaded to a specific folder which is shared with our team in our first Google Drive folder, automatically the same file will be copied and uploaded to the second folder as well. Now here after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. So we are going to upload another file to our first folder and test the automation. So we will just go to this new section, upload a file. And we have this image. Let's upload this image in our Google Drive folder. And it is done. Just now in our first folder, the team files folder, we have basically uploaded a new file in Google Drive. And we will see within 10 minutes, this exact same file will also be copied to this second folder of ours. And it actually takes 10 minutes because the connection between the Google Drive trigger and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, every 10 minutes, this trigger public connect will check for new data, new files in the specific folder in Google Drive. And after that, it will get those newly uploaded files and then automate this process. It will start and trigger this automation workflow. So let's wait for a few minutes over here. Okay, so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes. Now let's check our second Google Drive folder. And yes, guys, here you can see that the exact same file, the exact same image is also copied and uploaded to the second folder of our Google Drive. This means this automation workflow is working perfectly fine. So not just Google Drive, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect and automate your task. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone this same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.